What's up, gangsters? Man, my nappy head. I take a shower before I go to bed. So when I get out of bed, the next day, it looks like I've never showered in my life. Actually, it's it looks really dry. It's just stuck all over my face. So I'm eating um, clam chowder stuff in a Cool Whip bowl because straight ghetto. I have bowls, but they're not big enough for this big manly thing of soup. <laughs> Wait, that's not mainly. <laughs> Man soup. I got a hair on my nose. The nose knows what the nose. The nose. What am I trying to say? I don't know. Put my soup down. Get playing the. It's mine. I don't know if you can see that. It's Minecraft. Got to record. So I'm going to. Uh, my hair's falling out. Put a hat on earlier. Cause I had to go out. out there, in the, the bright. They can see me. Let me tell you a tale. No, he's... I need more lens flare. Okay, anyway. I'm going to a anime convention this weekend called Anime Blues Con. It happens in Memphis. It's pretty small. But, I like going to those. I don't ever dress up or anything, but I like... I like the culture. I don't like the, the stank, though. It always stinks. Every anime convention I've been to, there's always, like, a lack of freaking personal hygiene. Or just any kind of hygiene, really. I mean, it could be personal. It could be the person next to you. Somebody needs to wash someone there. That's all I know. The la I think it's at the same place that it was last year. And if that's true, then, like, the area where they're going to have everything is, like, you have the lobby when you come in. It's, like, a real big lobby. It's a pretty fancy Hilton hotel. And it goes, there's an escalator that goes down into like where all the rooms and everything are. And when you're going down the escalator, did I say elevator? Escalator. It's like you're lowering down into the stink. Like you can just like see it rising and you're like, oh, oh no. And you just have to embrace it. It's like, it's like when you, when you walk into the bathroom after someone just pooed and you're like, oh God, I gotta, I gotta go real bad. I can't, I can't hold it. And maybe you have to poo too, so you have to sit there in it. And then you just sit there, and you get used to it. And, and then you think about it, and you're like, wow, that's really gross. I totally got used to this butt smell. Oh well. That's how life happens and stuff. And I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't even know why I started recording, but I figured I would. My hair's bugging me. Man, the freak. Okay, when I got... The reason my hair bugs me so bad is because I got I went and got a haircut, right? I think I may have talked about this already like a couple of weeks back. But she was like, oh, your hair is so thick. It's really hot outside. Would you like me to to uh, thin out your hair? I was like, yeah, they always thin out my hair. Like, all around here. And she was like, we're going to thin this out. And I was like, dang it. I don't, <laughs> my hairline is like back to my freaking ears. I don't. <laughs> have that much hair to keep on my forehead and so now it looks like just stringly and nasty and skankily every time my hair like is it freshly washed and prepared oh well what can you do just look in the freaking freezer and pull out some morning delight eight home style waffles and some freaking Texas toast Texas toast <sighs> yeah, I had to slam the door like a boss. Some freaking Doritos and Taco Bell because I always get the deal number one with an extra five layer beefy burrito because if they got four of them. But the only two that I remember is the one that's that comes with the or that is a chicken burrito and you got one that's a five layer beefy burrito. Five layer beefy? Yeah, five layer beefy burrito, whatever. And they come with like chips and they come with a drink. And it's like two two 39 or 250 or something like that and they're all the same price but to get a chicken burrito by itself is like 25 cents more expensive than getting a five layer beefy burrito by itself so instead of getting a deal number four which is the beefy burrito and a chicken burrito you get the deal number one which is the chicken burrito and then you add on the five layer beefy and you save yourself some money just by doing it backwards or forwards I guess because one comes before four but 
usually when you order something like that, you're like, I want the most unhealthy thing up there, and that is definitely not the chicken burrito. I want the five-layer, beefy, cheesy, salty, trans fatty goodness. Give it to me. I'm going to put more sauce on there so I add even more to the sodium content. You didn't even think about that, did you? Yeah. The burrito itself is already super unhealthy, and then you're like, so sauce it up! And then you're like, just eating salt. Straight salt. That's good. It's so good. I don't even care. I eat Taco Bell like once a week. Sometimes twice. I ate it twice yesterday. I ordered it. And then we finished, like, after we watched Superman, which I, I thought was a decent movie. I mean, it's just got a few things that could have been better. It's kind of corny in some places, but still a f pretty fun movie. After we watched it, we uh, went to Taco Bell. And we I ate my deal number one with a five-layer beef burrito thrown on the side. And on the way out, I was like, man, I'm going to be hungry later. I better order uh, another five-layer or another five-layer beefy burrito and a chicken griller which is on sale between two and five because it's happy hour. I don't know. It kind of makes me wonder because they, they don't they have like a special thing. They're not even listed on the menu but they're under the menu as like a special between certain times so I'm wondering if I'm eating like a bunch of leftovers like they made all these because you know they freeze everything and send them out to all the places and so it's not it's, it's been They've been in the freezer for a while, and I'm just wondering if I'm eating what they had on backup, you know, and then they just didn't sell as well as I thought they would. And so I'm eating, like, way old food. But, I mean, that's not that weird because people, like, well, you may, some of you people may know what I'm talking about, but, like, deer meat, when you shoot Bambi in the face and you, like, rip its guts out and tear the meat out and slap it in some bags and put it in your freezer... You can leave it in there for like a year, and you can pull it out like a year later and defrost it and eat it, and it or cook it and eat it. And it's just as good. It's perfectly fine. It's just been, you know, cryogenically frozen for a year. Because, you know, you got like the plastic bags and the date on them. <sighs> well, maybe you don't. But that doesn't matter. Because I got my Cool Whip soup. Cool Whip with some freaking... Blueberries on the side didn't even have any blueberries in it. It has no fruit. It's just straight Cool Whip. And they put some fruit on the side, so you're like, ooh, blueberries. I don't know. They look cool. I guess it's better than just having a bunch of whip topping cream. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. <laughs> I just like fingered, I, like opened that real quick, and just told you like a girl walking up, and she's like, I'm like straight stalker, dude. I'm like. Hey. Is that a girl walking up out there? Oh man, she needs to go on a diet. She was kind of fat. <laughs> walking back here, so she can't. She's probably be walking by the door and like, is he even talking about me? How fat I am? And and of course she's got like the the huge glasses that cover up like her whole forehead. And she's like, oh, I'm so I'm so hot. It, I'm so beautiful because all you can see is my lips. Mmm, beautiful. So anyway, see you guys later. Hey